Hello my friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the daily cycle of the R. We are going to talk about the certain pattern, patterns that form during the, the day and how we can take advantage of them and of course either to help us to avoid any bad trades or to help us identify quicker in other situ from other situations towards where the market is going to go. I would like to begin from this first pattern that forms that we call it the bearish expansion model as you are going as you are seeing Asia this is the Asian DR this is the London you see that London forms down from the Asian one so this is a bearish expansion model one rule that we put here is that London high must not pass over the 50% of Asia in order for us to predict that we're going to have a bearish expansion model. The next pattern that we are going to recognize is the bullish expansion model, the exact opposite from the previous pattern where London forms above the highest DR level of Asia. And of course, in many situations, the rule says that the London low DR must not pass the 50% of the Asian DR level. In this situation, we have a bullish expansion model that helps us, of course, to predict that we're going to have a bullish day in general. Now, let's go to the next one. It's the megaphone pattern, as we call it, because we all love Roxy too much and the megaphone is her invention. So I took it and implied it into the RIDR where the Asian DR is smaller than the London and London overcomes the Asian, creating a megaphone. This pattern tells to us that we're going to have a range day and price will go from one side of the megaphone to the other one, having a big range day. And the last pattern is the contraction model where the Asian DR is bigger than the London and we expect a day exactly as I have drawn over here, rangy and suddenly expand. But in this situation, we have no clue towards where the day will go, either up, either, either down. Let's see how the bearish expansion model in this situation forms. Look where Asia formed over here. Look how London formed under the Asian level. And let's cut price at this point, not knowing what happened over here. Look how much confidence we would have as traders when we saw price giving us during London a bearish confirmation. Price came back and with, with much more confidence, we would take our short position towards the new low or going for our standard 1.5 RR. Of course, the RR that you're going to take in your trades is exclusively on your appetite. Let's see now what happened to during New York and how we could have saved from a bad trade. Why? Because when we have a bearish expansion, what, what do we expect in general? We expect in general price to go lower. New York DR formed, look what happened over here, we confirmed long. And what would I do in this situation? Of course, I would have, I would search for longs. But knowing at the end this concept, it helps me avoid because look what price did, came here to the London DR and look what happened after that. Price returned back. Why? Because at this point, the bias that we had from the daily pattern help, helped us a lot. Although if we had a really tight stop loss, I believe we could also have taken a really successful trade over here. Look where price reacted exactly at one standard deviation and then came back because of the bearish expansion model. This is one concept. And if you have strict rules, it will help you a lot. 
because not all the situation will be ideal like this one and probably we would have also a winner despite the fact that we went against the power, the daily pattern. And also, I would like to add at this point the importance of the Asian DR level, as you see over here. And the general rule, my beloved friends, that I'm going to go in depth in the next video is that when price is under Asia, the Asian DR levels, we are berries. When we are above the Asian DR levels, we are bullish. And when we are between, we are neutral and we don't take any trades. And in combination, identifying the pattern that forms every day, we can have a really solid bias and follow it 100%. Thanks for watching. See you next time.